In today's show, we're going to talk about Power Apps and that darn pop-up message you get to allow your connections. All right? Are you tired of Power Apps saying, hey, I need your permission to use the following SharePoint, Office 365, Outlook? Or maybe if you're not mad, are you tired of your boss asking you why they have to click allow all the time? So in this quick little video, we're going to show you how to make that message go away and then how to make it come back just in case you aren't happy that you made it go away. Should be fast. Should be fun. But first, here's our intro. Hi, my name is Shane Young with Power Apps 911, those guys. And today, we're gonna to get rid of the allow message. So it turns out, you know, that a lot of times in your Power Apps, they like to say, hey, do you wanna allow the connection to SharePoint or to Office 365 or to whatever the data source might be? And you're like, I'm just tired of my users calling me, calling the help desk saying, hey, why do I have to get this and how to click on it? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you that if you have all the proper rights, which I guess I don't actually know what they are. I'm sure you have to have special rights. Hmm, I guess I'll have to think about that. I'll leave a little pop-up with what the they are. Um, but so assuming that you have the right, you can go in, run a quick little bit of PowerShell and then remove um, those pop-ups. So should be fun. Here, let's just switch on my desktop. We'll take a look. Okay, so over here on the desktop, you can see that I'm showing you one of those dreaded messages, right? It's like, oh my goodness, I have to allow to get in here. Sometimes you only have to allow once. Sometimes you get these apps that are just nags that make you do it all the time. Like there's no rhyme or reason. I mean, I'm sure there is, but I can never find it. You know, I just click allow as often as I need to. So what do we have to do to get rid of it? Well, it's not terrible, right? What we're gonna do is we're gonna jump over here and open up a PowerShell window um, if you haven't learned how to install the Power Apps PowerShell, I have a video for that up there. Uh, but I'm assuming you've already installed the PowerShell video because I've shown you a few different management tricks with this and I'm just add to the set. But what you're going to do here is you're going to say set admin and then Power Apps APIs to bypass consent. Notice I just started typing in set dash A and just hit tab a few times because I'm lazy and I didn't want to type all that. Okay, so then you're going to say dash app name. Now this is a little confusing because you're like app name, also in the case of my app, it was Power Apps Append. No. So any times that PowerShell asks for the app name, what it really wants, if you go back over here, so here's, you know, from the home, we go to apps, and so here's Power Apps Append, this is the app I wanna turn it off for. You hit the ellipses here and you say details, and you need the app ID, so I need all of this fun stuff. So I'm gonna copy this, control C, we're going to open PowerShell back up and we're going to paste that in and we're going to hit enter. Now, when you do this, you will be uh, forced to log in. So I'm going to log into my tenant again. So hang on, I'm going to board this out along when I put in my secret code. So one sec, next, there you go. I managed to multi-factor authenticate on the first try. Yay, Shane. And it's faster than I could get back, right? It came through and it, um, it installed all the pieces. So. You're gonna see a bunch of weirdness, right? But you see it's 200, means it worked. So now that we've done that, now if we go back over here and I click on the link to open the app, you're gonna see that we just gonna hop straight in. Ta-da! So there you go, we have gotten rid of that bypass consent. And that, just so you know, is getting rid of it for everyone, right? It's not just for me, not just for Chewy, it is for anyone who uses this app. We as an org have uh, bypassed the consent on that. And so it doesn't work for all connectors, but I think it works for like all the, what they call the, the first party ones, right? So the Microsoft Office 365 -y stuff, right? Those all work. And then any of the third party ones, so like SQL is the first one that comes to my mind. Well, SQL's not third party, but it also works for the other like fancier connectors that don't actually require authentication. They just require a consent, right? So like the SQL connector is one that pops in my brain. So it doesn't turn off all of them, but it turns off all the ones that you run into on a regular basis. So there you go. That gets rid of it. Now, what if you get rid of the bypass consent and then security comes and yells at you and says, you can't do that. That's a violation of body, body, body. Fair. No problem. What we can do is we can go back up here. And so we can type in clear admin power apps bypass to consent. Aha. And then because I'm lazy, we're just going to copy all this because it's exactly the same again. Copy that and paste that in. Hit enter. Because I'm already logged into the browser, it doesn't force me to log in again. 
So 200, and so then now I would have to consent again. So if we go back over here, let's just open up another one. Ta-da! And I have to allow the connection again, as you'd expect. So a little bit of fun to play with there, you know, nothing too crazy or complex, but these are the little pieces of the puzzle that we add into our toolbox to make us better at power apps. Um, if you have any questions, comments, thoughts of other videos like this that you'd like to see, right? It's a quick, short one, but sometimes they are. Leave them below. I'm always looking for just fun little things like this that maybe you've always wondered how to do and not everyone knows. Also remember, I've got a, several of these PowerShell management ones uh, on my channel already. So how to install this stuff. We talk a little bit about the uh, different management pieces in there, setting some security or s changing the owners, I think was the other one I did. So, I, you know, I like PowerShell videos at the end of the day. Cool. All right, with that, I'm gonna say thanks and have a great day. Before you go, be sure to click on the subscribe button over here so that way you'll be notified when new videos come out. If you need any help or you wanna work together, whether your problem's big or small, check us out at Power Apps 911. We do it all, I rhymed. Or if you're looking for more formal training offerings, we have those linked up here somewhere. So check them out. Thanks and have a great day.